Hello and welcome to day two of the nine days of Daytona 2018. Last night we talked about the starting line, well not really the starting lineup, but kind of an entry list. There are cars missing. I know that was made previous and if you're going to say some NASCAR fans and then YouTube watchers are going to say, oh you ripped off David Land. That was, com it was completely unintentional. I originally wanted, the I originally thought of releasing that video earlier when I got it done but I decided as you even hear in the video that it was not going to be the day nine days of Daytona it was going to be a separate thing but I decided it's going to be nine days of Daytona day one so here we are it's day two today we are going to be talking about my predictions for the Daytona 500 what's all going to go down who's going to be on pole who's going to be winning it all we're going to be talking about it so let's get into it first off the pole sitter. I think Chase Elliott will score his third career pole at Daytona 500. He'll start on the front row in the number nine Napa Chevrolet Camaro for Hendrick Motorsports. Why do I think that? Well, I mean, he started on the front row both Daytona races last year. Pole Daytona 500, second Daytona 400. He started on pole in 2016, his first year. He's fast here. He's met, He was mad fast last year. He almost won it, like I said. I think he can get it. I think he can get the pole today. Or at the Daytona 500, not today. Well, I mean, they are doing qualifying as tomorrow. So, maybe. We'll find out. Anyway, it's race day. It's finally here. Chase Elliott's on the pole. Uh, the field's already been set via the duels. So, what's going to happen in the race? Well, I predict the big one is going to happen stage one. Yes, the big one. The infamous big crash that always happens at Daytona. And this is not going to be the only one. Like last year, there, there was probably going to be more than one. But this one is going to be big. I predict one car will at least go flipping in, you know what, we're going to, let's say the front stretch. We're going to say there's going to be a car going up and over on the front stretch. That's a, that's a pretty bold prediction. I believe the big one from part two will happen in turn three. Coming off the back stretch, someone will blow a tire and wreck half the field. The big one, part four, three, why did I say four? Part three will take place at the end of the race, coming down to, coming down to the end of the race on the last lap. It's going to be big. There's, here's, that's it. There's going to be three big ones. A car is going to go flipping in one of them. It's going to be fun. You're going to laugh. We're all going to watch it. We're all going to cheer because that's what NASCAR is all about, though. I'm just kidding. No, it's not. Anyway, stages. There are going to be three stages. Stage one, stage two, and then the final stage, which is the second half of the race. Stage one. I predict will be won by Chase Elliott. He'll manage to stay out front in the field. He may surge back a little bit, but then surge, for surge forward toward the end of the stage, and he'll win stage one of the Daytona 500. Next up, stage two. I predict that will go to Kevin Harvick. Now, he won, what was it, stage... He, he, I think he won stage two. Yeah, he won stage two, I think. Was it stage? Yeah, I, it doesn't matter. I predict he'll win stage two at the 2018 Daytona 500. So that means Chase Elliott and Kevin Harvick are your stage winners for the race. Now on to the good stuff. Who do I think is going to win the money? The, the trophy. Who's going to win it? Who's going to burn it down at Daytona? This is a bold prediction. I'm pr most likely going to be wrong, so that's why I'm going to provide five drivers who I think will win. Starting off with the upset driver, mostly a couple of these are upset drivers. Matt De Benedetto, that's my first pick. He's mad fast at the plate tracks. That's a mad fast team on the plate tracks. Go fast racing, always brings good cars to Daytona and Talladega, as he proved last year with a top 10 finish at the Daytona 500. 
So, prediction one, uh, not prediction one, uh, winner number one, winner prediction number one, Matt De Benedetto, the burrito himself. Winner prediction number two, Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson is going to surge ahead in a last lap, almost, a la uh, Kevin Harvick in 2007. He's going to use that high line, that Larson line, and he's going to take it out wide into turn three and four, and he's somehow going to make it work, and he's going to win Daytona. He's going to win the Daytona 500. That will be, what, his sixth career win. Here, let's see. Michigan, Fontana, Michigan, Michigan, Richmond. Yeah, that would be his sixth win if this happens. So that's predict that's winner prediction number two. We got Matt De Benedetto, Kyle Larson. Winner number three, of course, Chase Elliott. He's gonna win from the pole. Now I predict this will probably be one of those kinda he lucks into it. Now let me explain. There's gonna be like I said, there's going to be a, probably a caution for, I don't know, Danica Patrick slamming into the wall like she usually does at Daytona. Yeah. Anyway, she she'll, there'll be a wreck. For, there'll be a caution for, like, debris or something. And everyone's going to come in the pit. Chase Elliott's probably going to be, like, I don't know, 12. And everyone in front of him, uh, aside from maybe, what, maybe two cars are going to pit, are going to stay out along with Elliott. And then there's going to be a restart. This is probably going to be going into overtime. One lap to go. They'll come in. Chase Elliott's probably now third. He'll second at the white flag. He'll come surging up. They'll probably get right. They'll probably. Chase Elliott will be side by side with another car. Let's say fucking, uh, Austin Dillon. It's going to be Austin Dillon. And they're going to be side by side, coming to the line, like I predicted before. The big one happens behind him, side by side. It's going to become, I predict that will become the closest finish in Daytona history. Previous one would be the Dam Hamlin and the uh, Truex in 2016. So yeah, Chase Elliott will win it by luck and a photo finish with Austin Dillon. You know what, we're going to say that. In fact, prediction number four is Austin Dillon. What? Austin Dillon's not that good of a driver. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm letting it loose. I don't like Austin Dillon at all. In fact, he does not deserve a ride at all. I'm, that's, um, that's my opinion. If you're an Austin Dillon fan, go ahead. He especially does not deserve the number three. He does not deserve to drive anything with the number three on it. I'm. He's not that good. He's not good at all. He sucks. I hate him. His Coke 600 win was luck. Sheer luck. Anyway, yeah, I'm going. I'm gonna predict maybe he'll win the Daytona 500. It's that one's probably the most unlikely of all these. Oh man, it's so unlikely. Number five, our final pick, Danica Patrick. I'm not even kidding, Danica Patrick. She'll somehow manage to pull it off. Fuel strategy. Big heaping wreck behind her. In front of and behind her. She'll be like running 10th. And the whole front of the field will wipe out in that one lap. to get In that final lap crash. And she'll somehow be there. She'll win her first and last career race. Her first. Her only career win. And it'll be at her best track. And she'll... Most likely, probably decide, hey, I won a race. I'm coming back. I'm forget retirement. I, I got a good gig here. I'm coming back full time. Yay. Let's hope that doesn't happen, though. Anyway, those are my predictions for the Daytona 500. What are yours? Leave them down in the comments below. I'll read them. And next, uh, tomorrow's thing is going to be on tomorrow's episode of nine days of daytona is going to be the top 10 2018 paint schemes there are a lot of good ones and a lot of bad ones i'll see you guys in the next one peace out see you tomorrow